This is my bike now. This is my bike now. I know this is low-hanging fruit, but seriously, I'm gonna say it anyway. That doesn't sound like the first time you've said that. The Tennesseans here, we've got a bit of an interesting specimen today. Just watch the video and you'll find out why. Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. I'm reading this article about um, New Orleans and Hurricane Katrina um, because we're coming up on the 10 year um, anniversary of Hurricane Katrina and the destruction that it leveled upon New Orleans. And I just really, really, really had to make this video. You really didn't. In this article by the Daily Beast, which I will link in the description box for you guys. It's a long read, but it's a really, really good read. It's totally worth it. And all I can think as I'm reading is like, gentrification is colonialism. Actually, it's most definitely not, but I'll explain that later once you try to explain why it is. I'm going to read you guys the definition for colonialism. Colonialism. The policy or practice of acquiring full or partial political control. Gentrification is just making neighborhoods nicer. How does that have to do with political control? Over another country, occupying it with settlers and exploiting it economically. While I see where you're going with the whole economic exploitation, your point really falls apart because neighborhoods are not countries. We're not moving people in in order to take over. It's really just making existing neighborhoods nicer. I would understand it if there were white neighborhoods that acted as mother countries and then they sent little envoys uh, full of white people to different black neighborhoods to forcibly take over the uh, land and then subject its citizens to terrible laws. But that's not what happens. Um, and according to Wikipedia, Colonialism is the establishment, exploitation, maintenance, acquisition, and expansion of colony in one territory by a political power from another territory. Excellent Wikipedia skills, I must say. So you said from one territory to another territory. So not people living in a neighborhood and adding certain businesses to that neighborhood and nicer houses to that neighborhood that make the neighborhood nicer. If they live there, and that is their home, and they're not sent from some other place, then it is not colonialism. It is a set of unequal relationships between the colonial power and the colony. What you've just defined requires two entities, a superior entity and an entity that's being acted upon, instead of just one entity, the neighborhood of, you know, this displacement of black people by white people is, it's quite legal and it happens all the time and it's happening right now currently in a lot of major American majority black cities. Memphis is a great example of a majority black city and we can't have people where we have majority black cities being afraid of white people. It's just like people were afraid of black people moving into their neighborhoods in the 50s and 60s, except the other way around. It's the exact same sentiment. Oh no, we don't want white people moving into our neighborhoods. What's the problem with that anyway? Unless, of course, you're a xenophobe or a racist. Which she is, as we'll soon find out. So, the biggest issue with her argument is that she confuses gentrifying with racism. Basically, gentrifying may exclude poor people, but it doesn't exclude black people or include white people. White people can be poor, Black people can be rich. We see this influx of white people that come in. They come in and take advantage of the low rent. They come in to take advantage of, of the area. They come in and take advantage of the people that live there, the black and brown bodies. No! Why is she equating black people with poor people? That is extremely racist. have any agency because of institutionalized racism in this country. They come well, since you're apparently stuck back in the 50s and early 60s, we actually have laws against segregation and against discrimination and against racism, which means that we're actually institutionally anti-racist. So where exactly are you getting this institutionalized racism? Probably from that nose ring of hers. That's how humans change around logic to be nonsensical, right? They come in, they say, this is mine now. They raise the rent, they kick us out, they displace us. That is colonization. 
nobody's kicking anybody out in this situation, and who sets the rent prices? That's right, people who own the property. Gentrification is colonization, it's, it's violence. Do you even know what violence is? No, 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 this is violence. White people are soulless parasites, right? But calling an entire group of people soulless parasites just because of the color of their skin is racist. Again, that is colonialism. You're coming into an area where people already live. Wait, you mean like black people did back in the day? But I'm sure you don't have a problem with that now, do you? That I watched the show, um, The Originals, which is the show about white vampires. Yeah, stay classy. There's building New Orleans, and I was so offended. <laughs> Did it trigger you? When I read the blurb, because New Orleans is an, is an African city. Actually, it was a predominantly French and Cajun city. It was built by an Africans. It has the culture of Africans. No, I don't think you got the message. It's French and Cajun. It, ha it, it has the soul and the spirit and the food of Africans. Does beignet sound like an African word to you? Okay, repeat after me. Cajun and French. White people are f***ing infuriating. You guys okay, this person is quite clearly a racist, and there's no denying that anymore. Let's move on. Let them run their city into the ground, even though, you know, they're a part of America, and they're supposed to be a part of American government. So what you're claiming is, black people can't run a society without the help of white people? What? Trader Joe's like, that's colonialism! F***ing soulless f***ing parasitic ass mother vampires. F***ing white demon Queen Suocha. White people, just go f*** yourselves, honestly. F*** off. Now you see why I'm getting tired of this. I think it's just about time to end the video. We've gotten through some good SJW crap today. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, that was our first video on this channel, so I hope it was good enough for your standards. Man, you have high standards. So we'll come out with other videos with a similar style, but different topics. I hope you can watch those once they come out. This is my bike now. 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 This is my bike now.